before we start this video, make sure if you guys want to see this series continue, leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below making sure you want to see this series continue. I plan on going through this in depth, hopefully, for a while, and I won't stop after episode 3, but I need to go know you guys will enjoy it. So be sure to leave a like, subscribe, let me know. Anyways, enjoy the video. Alright, and welcome to this Washington Commanders franchise. I know I've done several times to attempt the Chargers franchise. Never just wanted to continue. I'm going to try and finish a franchise this time with the Washington Commanders, a team I won't have uh, an attachment to, like the Chargers, who I obviously have attachments to the players on that team. Uh, so I'm going to be using the Washington Commanders, trying to bring this team back to relevance. Again, they did make the playoffs, I believe, was it two years ago as a football team? It was either last year or the year before as a football. It was the year before. It was the uh, year that the Buccaneers won the championship. So they did make the playoffs two years ago, the first year since rebranding. Now they are the Washington Commanders. I'm not a fan of the name. I'm not really a fan of the jerseys. I am a big fan of the logo and the helmet, but when it comes to the uniforms, not the biggest fan, but that's not why we're here. We're here to make this team a powerhouse again and win what is now arguably the best division of football, what was once the worst division of football, now the best with the Eagles, Cowboys, Giants, and Commanders. The Commanders finished at 500 and was last in their division. Now, um, before we get into it, I know in the Chargers one, I went through the whole offseason and everything. This is on Madden 23, not 22, so we're not going to have accurate offseason. We're here at the Super Bowl. Where, whatever happens in the offseason happens in the offseason. I plan on getting through it really quick. I'm going to sign who I want to sign. It is going to be semi-realistic because we're the commanders. We're not a big destination for big-time free agents, so I'm not going to go out there and sign like a Darwin James or someone or like a top guy in free agency. I'm going to sign mainly guys who have a lot of interest in joining the team. As you see, we don't have much salary. I'm going to try and get Carson Wentz the hell out of here. I might cut him like they did in real life. Um, but yeah, I also need to put in the... Uh, draft class but there's one guy i plan on drafting that's probably going to be a thumbnail of this video but i'm going to zoom through the off season really quick so we can get to the preseason and regular season and hopefully we'll have gameplay in this episode we'll see so in this universe as you can see in the top i guess mid left the eagles actually win the super bowl i could have forced the chiefs to win but we'll just have we'll just sim it this is our own different universe mahomes wins the mvp just like in real life nick sirianni wins the coach of the year that actually went to brian deball Devontae Adams, Offensive Player of the Year. I forgot who that went to. Uh, Nick Bosa, Defensive Player of the Year. Kenneth Walker, Offensive Rookie of the Year. That went to Garrett Wilson. And Defensive Rookie of the Year, Jalen Petrie? Is that how you say his name? That went to Sauce Gardner. I don't know how it went to that dude. I never heard of his name, but he plays for the Texans. So, uh, choose draft class. This is where we're going to um, put in the Anthony Richardson, uh, Bryce Young, that draft class. And I think I'm just going to keep... Our offensive coordinator and defensive coordinator for this season. I don't see a reason to get rid of them just yet. We haven't even gave them a full season. So we'll go to the re-signed players and see who needs a contract extension, who doesn't. Like I said, I plan on cutting through this very quick. But before that, we can jump into the mock drafts. And finally, an, an issue I've had is the Cardinals always take a quarterback. They always try and take Bryce Young. But I turn pre-existing injuries off. So... Um, Kyler Murray isn't injured, so they won't want to draft a quarterback. So that is good. Also, yeah, the Panthers are not going to have the number one overall pick. There's nothing I can do about that. That is still going to the Chicago Bears. But the mock draft has us taken a tight end. Michael, I think, is it Meyer or Mayer? I don't know. They have us taken him with our first round pick. That is interesting. He's not the guy I have on my target list, but you never know. He's got some pretty good attributes, as you can see on the right. And with our first move, we're going to try and re-sign De'Aaron Payne to a contract extension. We do bring him back. Cole Holcomb, I think that's how you say his name. Uh, How much do you want? That's not a big cap hit. I'm willing to give you that. I'm willing to give you this much money. We have a lot of money. And we bring Cole back to the team. And it does not look like I really don't want to bring back anyone else on this list. Oh. Carson Wentz isn't even on the team. Oh, that helps. Is he a free agent? Oh, yeah, he's a free agent. Oh, so we don't even have to worry about him and his contract. I will take that. All right, we've made our offers. Let's evaluate um, offers. Players have, let's see if we got, so I didn't get anyone. Oh, no, I'm only in QB. 
Oh, okay. I was only so we do sign Mike Gusecki. Gusecki, I almost said that wrong. And Nate Davis. Those are two huge additions. Nate Davis for the old line right guard was our massive missing piece. Z Jonathan Jones still here. Uh, we are we're gonna have to give him a little bit more money because I kind of really want him. Uh, I don't really care about getting him anymore because we got Nate Davis, Tyler Huntley. He'll he'll be on the team. Uh, so let's give him, I guess, a little bit more. Uh, Jonathan Jones, I'm giving you a bag. I'm not going to lie. I'm giving you a bag right now. If you don't accept, he's most likely going to accept. Um, so far, the players that have signed have been Miles Sanders to the Panthers, which actually happened in real life. Josh Allen goes to the Cardinals. CJ Gardner-Johnson, who's a strong safety. Why well, did I think he was cornerback? Uh, goes to the Dolphins. Javon Hargrave goes to the Falcons and Jabril Peppers. To the, um, what was that, the Colts? I already forgot. Tom Brady's still a free agent, uh, but we're mostly going to get our possible starter back up. We'll see. Running backs, anyone? They have Kareem Hunt here. Uh, we could sign Kareem Hunt or Jamal Williams. I'm very interested in Kareem Hunt. Maybe we can get him back to his Chiefs days. Um, he has a lot of interest. I don't see Brian Robinson or I don't see Antonio Gibson staying. Brian Robinson will be a good backup. I'm going to offer Kareem Hunt. I'm going to offer some other guys that we need. And I'll let you know when we sign him. All right, so we're able to bring in Kareem Hunt, Jonathan Jones, and Terrell Edmonds. And these are the two guys we're going to end up getting them. That most likely would do it for me for free agency. Most of the big guys are already signed. Michael Thomas goes to the Ravens with Lamar Jackson. That's interesting. Oh, that was the guy I was going to target. He goes to the Jets back to New York along with TJ Edwards. I was going to target him, but then I looked at our core and he wanted way too much. I'm like, we don't really need him. Brady's still not signed. The only QB signed is Geno Smith back with the Seahawks. So if we go to available, yeah, Tom Brady's still here. Tom Brady went to the Giants. You can That's amazing. That's actually hilarious, bro. He went to... If you can't beat him, join him. All right, we have made it here to the NFL Draft. What pick do we have? I already forgot. Was it like 18, I believe? Let's see. We have the 16th overall pick. I'm not sure if I'm needing to move up to get who I want. I'm going to just play it by the book. I don't think I can check. Can I check mock drafts to see? Yeah, I can check mock drafts. Let's just see. If you guys don't know who... Actually, you, you might... I'll have them blurred out on the thumbnail. Uh, we only have one mock draft. Oh, we have all. Nope, we only have two. Uh, we have three mock drafts. So let, let's just see. They... Have the Colts? Uh, did they sign a QB? I'm not sure if they signed a QB, but they have them taking a right end now. Um, let's see. They have CJ Stroud falling all the way to the Raiders at seven. They have Michael Meyer going all the way up. Will Levis at twelve. Um, they have us taking a corner, but I don't see the guy I want to draft. So I'm hoping I'm gonna risk it and wait and hope he drops. I could we could see him drop even farther, but. We're going to start the NFL Draft. The Chicago Bears are on the clock with the number one overall pick. Who will they take? They are going to take Tyree Wilson out of Texas Tech. I think we all know who the Texans are going to take. Bryce Young, QB out of Alabama. The Arizona Cardinals are going to take Will Anderson Jr. out of Alabama. Uh, some may say Jalen Carter should go there, but with the off-court, uh, off-court, off-field issues, they did not take him. This is the big pick. Will the Colts take a quarterback? I don't know if they signed one. They will take Luke Van Ness out of Iowa. Do they have a quarterback on their roster? Did I miss them signing a QB is my question. They signed Tyler Huntley. So are, they're going with Tyler Huntley as their starter next year. Very, very interesting. The Seattle Seahawks should not be taking a quarterback here. They're going to take Jalen Carter. Oh, oh, didn't Jalen Carter play in George? Okay. Uh, Detroit, they're going to take Christian Gonzalez. I have not heard that name. And that means C.J. Stroud has fallen down to the Las Vegas Raiders. What a steal for Vegas. They get their QB of the future. The Atlanta Falcons are on the clock. They are going to take Isaiah Foskey with the Carolina Panthers. Will they take Will Levis? They take Michael Meyer. Who do they have at QB? Oh, they signed Jacoby Brissett. All right, so I guess they might be in trying a win-now mode, but I don't think you're going to win now with Brissett 
The Eagles take Miles Murphy. The Titans are going to take Broderick Jones out of Georgia. The Texans are going to be left out without a QB. They take Peter Skronowski. No, didn't they take Bryce Young? They have two top picks. That's crazy. Well, they got the protection for Mr. Bryce Young. The New York Jets are going to take Paris Johnson Jr. I have no idea where some of these people are. From the Ohio State, we're getting closer to our pick. The New England Patriots are going to take Jackson Smith and Jigba. I think this is how you say his name. Get Mac Jones some more weapons. The um, Green Bay, I was going to say the Atlanta. The Green Bay Packers. Will they get Aaron Rodgers a skill position? Because they still have Rodgers on the team. They do not. They grab defensive tackle Siaki Ika. I don't know how to say it. Maybe Ika. But we are now on the clock. Do we trade away our pick? Do we trade away our pick? Because looking at the top teams left, the only team I'd be worried about taking the player I want is the Buccaneers. That is the only team I'm worried about. So can we trade down slightly? It doesn't look... The Dolphins... And we get a second round pick next year. I'm not going to do that. I think I'm going to play it safe. And draft my guy right here. And with the 16th overall pick. The Washington Commanders will draft. Anthony Richardson. Who only has a normal dev rate. With the 16th pick. Will Levis was still on the board. But I decided to take Anthony Richardson. I'm gonna. I'm a big fan of his coming out of the draft. I think he's going to be a really good QB. He has a lot of raw talent um, at the position. 6'4", 244, age 22. He's a scrambler. He's got 90 speed, 93 acceleration, but he has 92 throw power. I feel like that's the pick, and that's our QB of the future. And that means, and the Vikings draft Kirk Cousins' possible replacement, which I think is the biggest steal of the draft. Will Levis at the 24th overall pick. And we are now at our second round pick. We don't pick till the fourth round. So I'm probably going to keep this pick and make it last. Let's see. We do need um, a right. I've left outside linebacker. We have none. So that is probably going to be my main focus. And Trenton Simpson seems like the best option. He's an amazing athlete. He's got elite acceleration, elite speed, and great strength. So he's fast enough where if we're playing, I believe it's like a 4-4 or a 4-3 defense. If he's got to go out and guard the um, check route, the check, um, if he's got to go out and guard the check down, he should have the speed to get it. A awareness, A block shedding, B finesse move, his A to C um, hit power, A to C stamina. He's got A pursuit, uh, C man coverage. He's a outside, right outside linebacker. I think I'm going to draft Trenton Simpson out of Clemson still a normal dev trait um that's interesting but he's got 91 acceleration 86 speed 82 strength though we're gonna have to work on that but I'm not mad at that pick and we have just traded Antonio Gibson for the Bills second round pick this year and then a salary filler to make the trade work so now we have the 28th pick in this round and I'm probably gonna draft best guy available here try and get as much talent on this roster as possible i think i might take a flyer on dalton kincaid i think that's how you say his name but i could also trade down or up to get him because he's restricted through the four but i'm really liking his stats b break tackle a catch in traffic a deep route b pass block and b spec catch he's got elite strength for a tight end He's got great speed and great agility. He's got poor acceleration, so it's going to take him a, a time to get to that speed. Solid change of direction. I don't know if I want to draft him with this pick, though. That's my problem. You know what? I think I'm going to take a flyer on this guy. I'm not even going to attempt to say his name. I'm just going to call him Habakkuk. Habakkuk. I'm not saying that last name. We're going to take a flyer on him. Uh, he's got great change of direction. He's got good strength. I'm wishing it was a little bit better. I'm wishing it was great. But he's got B block shed. He's got A play rec. B zone coverage. He's got A tackle, which is going to be needed. We're going to take him. The normal dev rate. All right. He's only got 77 strength. That might have been um, a risk right there to take him. That tight end, I really wanted to try and get. He ended up getting taken. And I'm really upset about it. And we're going to trade the pick for a 2024 third rounder i'm so upset that tight end went 
before I show you my... Oh, my God. I sold. I should have traded up for him. He was a 76 overall. 83 speed. 83 excel and agility. 80 strength. He's got normal dev, but 76 overall. Tight end coming out of the draft. I sold hard on that one. But our pick was Trenton Simpson was our best pick in the second round. I feel like that was a great pick. Left outside linebacker out of Clemson. Anthony Richardson comes out as a 74 overall. He will most likely be the starter this season. It will be between him and um, Sam Howell, I think, is our backup. I'm not even going to try and say your name. Uh, we already drafted left, side, um, left outside linebacker, so I might move him to the right side. And we drafted a fullback with our auto-generated pick. I'm not mad at that. I am, I am definitely mad at not trading up for that tight end, bro. That's going to bite me in the ass. I already know it. So here's what the depth chart is going to look like. We're in preseason week one. Anthony Richardson, we're in the number 13. I'll see if I can change that. We'll be our starting QB for right now. We'll have him and Sam Howell split reps a little bit. Uh, Jake Fromm from State Farm is um, at number three. Halfback, bringing Kareem Hunt to be that starter and see if he's got that oomph back in him from his rookie year in Kansas City before he became the greatest kicker of all time. Brian Robinson is a fantastic backup for us. Uh, fullback, we drafted the 60 overall. He's going to come in and be the starter. I don't know why some rookies say they're captains. Does Anthony, yeah, the rookies for some reason come into the captains. It doesn't mean anything. Our wide receiver core was one thing I didn't touch, but I wanted to, but it's actually really good. T scary Terry, 93 overall. He's got an X factor. We have Curtis Samuel and Johan Dotson with Diami Brown, all with 90 plus speed. That's why I love our receiver. They are all extremely quick. Dotson is going to be that um, slot receiver, or I actually might make Curtis Samuel the slot because he's got a slot because he's got 94 speed. We bring Kaseki on. I think I brought him in on a one year deal. Logan Thomas will be the backup. So I brought him in on one-year deal. So the main um, position I'm going to be targeting in the draft next year will be a tight end. Offensive line, left tackle, Charles Leno Jr., Andrew Norwell on the left guard, Chase Ruler, I think is how you say his name. At the center position on the right side, we have Nate Davis, who we signed in free agency, and Sam Cosme on the right tackle. That's probably our weakest position on offense would be right tackle. For the defensive front, Chase Young at left end. We're trying to get his progression up, see if we can get him to an X-factor. Um, this season and I don't plan on playing defense I don't know if I'm gonna because defense is very frustrating in this game to play and I'm not great at it I might we'll see for right end we got Montez Sweat so those sides gonna be great our, our defensive front is amazing our front seven is fantastic Jonathan Allen and De'Aaron Payne De'Aaron Payne on a brand new contract Trenton Simpson the rookie will begin to start at the left outside linebacker with the rookie alongside him at the backup middle linebacker Cole Holcomb, Anthony Walker, who we signed in for agency, and Jamin Davis. And at right outside linebacker is Jamin Davis. And this dude is the backup. I'm probably going to make him a right outside linebacker. Uh, cornerbacks, Kendall Fuller. We brought in Jonathan Jones in um, for agency. And Benjamin St. Just. Uh, Justy, however you say it. Derek Forrest is the free safety with Bobby McCain as the backup. And strong safety is... Cameron, Cameron, that was just a weird way you spell Cameron. Cameron Curl is our strong safety who we moved. He was a free safety. We draft, well, I mean, we signed Troll Edmonds to be that strong safety. So we technically don't need Cameron Curl because we, we signed Terrell Edmonds for his speed. So maybe we put him back at free safety. I don't know. We, we, have, we have a bit of a debacle here with the safety situation, but we'll see. I guess we'll start uh, Carmen. A kicker, we actually did sign Evan McPherson, who was a free agent. We signed him to like a five-year deal. I don't know why he was a free agent, but man, Joey Sly has a 98 kick power. His kick power is a lot higher than Evan McPherson. So, I mean, hey, if we have a long kick, I'm bringing in Joey Sly then instead of Evan McPherson. I did not know his kick power was that high. Um, Trez Way is our punter. Kick returner will be Johan Dotson. I'm fine with that. Punt returner, Johan Dotson, obviously. Um... Um, Edward McPherson will kick it off for us. I am actually going to put Joey Sly to kick it off. We're going to have two kickers. We might as well use them. Slot receiver is Johan Dotson. I am fine with that. That's how we can use him. We can use him as a slot corner. Okay, I'm fine with that. Terrell Edmonds can be our slot corner. So that is the team. Uh, next episode, I'm probably going to sim the um, preseason or I'll play it on my own. And then next episode, you'll see us actually playing in the week one of the regular season. So be sure to leave a like if you guys enjoy this and you want this to continue. Subscribe down below.
that's gonna be for me. Juju.